Indians make a dumb move by trading Yonder Alonso. It says the Cleveland Indians have made another offseason move by trading first baseman Yonder Alonso to the Chicago White Sox. Cleveland Cleveland Indians get 24-year-old outfielder Alex Call from the from the White Sox, White Sox in a deal made official Saturday. Call has yet to make his major league debut, but the Indians rid themselves of Alonso's entire $8 million salary cap for 2019. It's been a busy week for the three-time American League Central champions who traded slugger Edwin Inicium and inferior Yandy Diaz, and, re- and, and they reacquired first baseman Carlos Santana on the three-team trade on the final day of the winter meetings in Vegas. We've had we've had a couple of goals going into the offseason, and that's foremost trying to make sure we have a team that's capable of winning the American League Central in 2019, but also a position the organization for sustained success beyond that. Indians president of baseball operations, Chris Antonetti, said, there are a couple of ways to do that. One is to infuse young, controllable talent into the organization. The second element of that is to manage our finances. We feel like the series of series of moves were made up to this point advance both of those goals. Cleveland, um, Cleveland may not be done. They have left it open. Um, Cleveland has left it open that they're willing to trade. Corey Kluber or All Star Trevor Bauer. The Indians have outfield needs and are looking to rebuild their bullpen. Alonso, Alonso for the Indians last year batted 250 with 23 homers and 83 RBIs in his only season with the Indians, who signed him as a free agent in December. It was first, um, it was the first trade between the American League Central rivals in more than two decades, and it could have brought implications for the rest of the off season. We haven't aligned on any on any on any trades for a variety of reasons, but this is one of those instances where they were seeking to do aligned with what we were seeking to do. Chicago already has Jose Barrio at first, but he played in just 128 games last season because of injuries, and 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 Jose Abreu could could see more time at Disney hitter with the addition of Alonso. The 31 year old Alonso was married to the sister of 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 star slugger Manny Machado, a rumored a rumored target for the White Sox of agency, which the White Sox don't need Manny Machado. Alonso broke. Bro- broke in in the 2008 amateur draft and broke into the majors with the Reds in 2010. He is a 265 hitter with 90 homers and 389 RBIs and 951 games in Cincinnati, San Diego, Oakland, Seattle, and and Cleveland. Alonso's contract can, um, has a 2020 option with a one million with a one million dollar buyout. The option becomes guaranteed if Alonso has. In order for the option to become guaranteed. Alonso has to make at least 550 plate appearances this year, um, and has, and the, and he needs to pass a physical at the end of next season. The 24-year-old call, the 24-year-old Alex Call, who the White Sox traded to the Indians, played for Class A Winston Salem last year and Double A Birmingham last season, and he was, um, he he batted 248 with 12 homers and 58 RBIs in 123 games. And he was drafted by the Chicago White Sox in the in the third round of the 2016 draft. And he attended Ball State um, University. Jeez.